Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. So I don't know if you remember this from last year. I had created from a, uh, com a composition book, I think it was, um, this uh, faith book or prayer cards book that I was going to use um, to do some, putting some of these, what these two, they were today prayer cards and on, on the back of the prayer cards, there's all kinds of quotes from the Bible. And um, yeah, so I, let's see if you can see the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so I started it off. I was really new last year at doing um, any kind of journaling of any kind. I was testing out these things to see if it looked like scotch tape, but it's flat, I think. I don't know if I fixed that or not. And then I glued two pages together so that it would be a little sturdier. And then everything's done. What was the other one? Sorry, I should have made the Lord bless you and keep you. And then this one, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And then here, everything is possible for one who believes. And then I kind of did a collaging page here trying to test out some stuff that I had and then the last time pretty sad May 2023 I'm grateful for my mom must be difficult for her that was how I was feeling last year um, those who live in shelter of the most high will find rest in the shadow of the almighty I uh, that was the last one that I did and uh, I thought I would take a look at it. Now, what I did is I went to either Dollar Tree or Dollar Ram. I think it was Dollar Tree. And I found these two little books. My little book of Dear God, A Real Friend is Someone Who Takes the Time to Listen to You. Thoughts for Every Day. And then this one was Thanks for Thinking of Love, Thoughts for Every Day. And when you open it, it's so cute. It's got a little picture on this side. And then... On this side, it has a little, you know, thing you're talking to God about. Like, if I gave all my love away, could I have a refill? <laughs> and the grape jelly jar only holds so much until your spoon clanks around the inside and you have to settle for just peanut butter on your sandwich. But that's not the way love is. You can keep pouring and spreading over, uh, all over the place treating people with kindness from now until next November and still have more than enough love to spare. So go ahead, love somebody. I thought this was so adorable. Now, the only thing I'm sad about is that, you know, they're, they're double-sided. So you have to decide, or not you, me, <laughs> um, I have to decide if I want to use these in my little faith book here and which ones um it's just and then a little quote like proverbs there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother uh different things like that i thought this was cute so this is thanks for thinking of love and then um this is about friends you know so do something, you know, and then it says, have you ever known a bully? And it goes on and talks about that. Um, this is sounding better all the time. It's good to have team spirit. I mean, I know it's for children, but you know what? We're all children of God, right? <laughs> so I thought I would go through it and, uh, designate a page. Now, I don't know how often, like I say, this was in May. I think I might find something here and date it today and talk about mom. Um, and I'll go through these and I will, I, I, I want to do a spread. I may, I may just leave this page for now and do a double spread for mom or just do the one. I don't know yet. So I just wanted to share that it's, you know, I still have a few pages. I've already um, pasted the two pages together so that I don't have to do that. So I have a few more in here. So that's what I was looking at today. 
and then I did this on the back prayer cards and then on the front and I put faith on here so that was something I was looking at I I've done quite a few little projects today so I want to share them with you I hope you will have the patience and be kind um I was watching a video let me let me get my goodies out and I think I might use this in the background because some of it's clear so um I was thinking, I think it was Mary who suggested using my, um, and I haven't tried it yet, my parchment paper to make envelopes. Well, remember I was talking about me having uh, some, it's kind of medium, it's not heavyweight vellum and it's not light. It's kind of in the middle. Um, and this one does not, I mean, it can crack if you press too hard, but um, so I decided to try and I made, uh, I made an envelope out of that. This one, I made one of those little coin things that I could put things in and maybe decorate it. And I could use that in a journal somewhere. And then I made a little mini envelope, same thing. Now, the other thing that I want to mention, now, let me see if I can remember what drawer I put it in here. Oh, here it is here. Remember I was talking about these, I left the other one open. Uh, sorry, I gotta open the drawers to put things on so I can reach them. Uh, I was talking about these Calvin, uh, now this is extra tacky uh, craft tape. And this is the three millimeter by 10 meters. And I think this one three, I think this was four, four or something. I don't remember. Um, and I just put it in this bag because um, this part is very sticky when you open it. And I don't know where I put the bag to it. But anyway, uh, I am not impressed with these. They're a little bit thicker than our regular... Uh, than our regular double-sided tape. Our double-sided tape is nice and flat. Um, and the other thing, I had a heck of a time trying to peel off the red in order to get the clear on here. Um, and it is it is a little bulky, um, so it's not as flat as our regular tape. But it took me forever to just try and take the red topping. Now look, no, the topping's not off, it's there. Yeah. So I wasn't impressed with that. I mean, it's okay. It works well, uh, but it's, like I say, it's thicker than our flat tape and really, really hard to get the uh, top cover off. So I wasn't too impressed with that, but I used it because that's all. I was in my bedroom uh, doing some stuff. So I had this acetate and I decided to make what we, I guess, call a coin envelope. And um, I thought, you know, I could decorate it and put things in it for a journal. So these are just things I've made. I'm probably going to put these things in an idea journal that I have. Um, I call it an idea one where I make things and I can take them out and use them or um, or not, whatever. So this was old acetate that I had, really old acetate, so a lot of it is scratched and so on. Um, but I made kind of a little tuck pocket here. So I've got a few a few things that I've kind of been playing around with. I wanted to try this. Now, I haven't tried the um, parchment paper yet, and that is going to be my next little project to try. So I'm just going to put these all together here. These are all... So that was another thing I was working on today. For the rest of the day, for the rest of my life, <laughs> for the rest of my time, um, I printed off a lot of freebie that I got either from G. Kerr, uh, Tracy Fox, uh, Victoria Designs, I think her name is. I don't know if Chabby Dabby Do is on there, but there was a lot, a lot of different places that um, 
I found these pictures and what I did with a couple of them. Well, here's the problem. Here is the problem I had with my printer. And I'm a little disappointed. Um, my, let me see here. Even these, I printed off quite a few things um, from various, like I say, from various places I had downloaded. Um, some of them, I wish they had things, they had names on them and so on. Let me see if I can find one or two from the beginnings. Uh, no. Um, yeah, anyway, my... I just filled my black and white, my black and my colored, um, my colored ink. And as I was doing some printing and I don't know if I have any in here. I feel bad now that I don't have them. Oh, I know where they are. Let me get them. Sorry. Of course, in my folder, I've got digitals. And I printed off quite a few. Oh. I printed off quite a few, but actually I counted 10 pages. So my, my color for my, it's a, it's a mini um, printer. I do have a bigger one, but I haven't been able to connect it to my iMac. Um, and I'm not sure if I have any ink on that at all or not. But again, like these are Happiness and Crafting by G. Kerr. These are um, digitals that I printed off. Oh, sorry. I've also got some other stuff in here. Um, and it ended up that I could only print like 10 pages. And I printed quite, you know, I kind of counted them all. Um, the first one, I printed quite a few. But the second one... Um, and I tried to print it on different papers. The first ink that I put in, I got more than 10 pages of, of color, but the second one only had, like I could only get 10 pages. So when I went to reprint some stuff, I mean, these are beautiful digitals and, um, and I just love them, you know, but what I had to do finally was just print things in black and white. So here's what I did. Um, I, I printed off a few things. Then I used some of that vellum. Now, I wonder if I have it with me. Sorry, I'm just going to grab. Here we go. So I, um, I started printing in black and white and then I thought about my vellum and I thought it, well, it's medium weight. Wouldn't it be fun to print in black and white? So this is in black and white and I'm just putting the pink behind it so you can see the, the picture. So I started printing on the vellum and I thought, oh good, my, my printer's not going to break on me. So that was one thing I did. And I printed off a few. Then this one, by mistake, I printed it. And it actually printed color. But you know the only color I'm getting is black and blue. I'm getting a lot of blues. I wonder if... Uh, sorry, I just stacked everything up. Um, this was a green cardstock. Kind of a very pale green. And I printed off one of, uh, one of the digitals like that. I'm just looking for the one that's printed blue. Oh, and this, these here, they didn't even print the right color because it's mostly blue. So I tried regular paper. I tried harder paper. Um, and it's supposed to be pink, but it's not the proper pink. And I don't know why my ink is, is printing the wrong colors, but it's still cute anyway, and I'm going to use them anyway. But then I decided to try a few things, and again, I'm using, I should use a white one. Let me get a white paper. Okay, what I did was like, I grabbed some of this paper. It's not quite white, it's kind of a cream, but this is a watercolor paper that I had stacked over there. So here's the white, and this is uh, on the vellum 
And I thought, oh, good, my printer. This is from Tracy Fox, um, one of her freebies. And uh, beautiful colors, but I could not get the color in my printer. Anyway, I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to print them off in black and white. And because they're vellum, I might be able to use them in my journal covering, uh, you know, I may have, I don't know, let me grab something here. I may have something in my journal and I may want to put that in front of it with a little frame, you know, so if I want to frame her little face. And that's what I was thinking about these. And I also thought that I could cut these out, these circle these out. I may be able to color. I haven't tried coloring on this vellum with my markers or with my, uh, I don't know if I have any. I must have, I must have colored pencils somewhere. Um, and I thought maybe I could, maybe not color it exactly, but I wanna see how it, both markers, and I think I, I, I printed off a couple of pages of one of them, and I wanna color them and see how, whether the ink or the pencil, pencil would probably be better, uh, but the uh, markers that I have, I'm wondering if they'll smudge or if you let them dry on vellum. So I don't know. So that'll be something I'll show you in the future as an experiment. You know me and my experimenting. I love to experiment. Yeah, so um, I printed off a few. Then I decided to try and print on acetate. Now, I like I say, I have some old old acetate. I should show you how old it is. I retired from work in 2020, 20, 2010. This is from my office somewhere in the early 2000s, like 2004, whatever. And these are what we used to use in the printers. I don't know where this one came from. This has got paper in between, and this is some of the older one as well. This was the original one, and this is this is how we used to have it with, with the strips on it, so we knew which way to put it in the printer. Yeah, this is pretty old. I wonder if there's a date on this thing. Just the lot number. QMS, no, but I got it from work. I stole it. Okay, I figured I deserved it. <laughs> but I had some other good um, acetate that is not marked up and old. It's a newer one. So I tried printing these um, postcards. I'm going to be able to talk sometime today. I just don't know when. So that was a postcard. I did that. I don't know how this would be coloring, so I may even attempt to color this. Maybe um, not color it, because the ink is on this side, maybe to do it like a colored background. I don't know. I mean, I want to experiment with all of these things. So this is actually what it, what this is supposed to look like. So if, if I put it on top, we're going to have cross-eyed because they're not quite matching up um but this is what it's supposed to be and they're some they're beautiful colors but my oh. so here's those butterflies that i think i had here somewhere here so this is the original and that was when my printer was color doing it i think properly or maybe it went blue and it's supposed to be yellow i don't know so i decided to go ahead and print it off. This is just copy paper, printer paper. And I thought, I'm going to try coloring these with either colored pencils, uh, watercolored pencils, or um, my markers. And I printed it off small in four sections. And I'm probably going to do like colored pencils. Just as a reference, you know, I do that sometimes if like with my stamping tools, I will make note of the different shapes and so on. Well, I want to do the same thing here with this piece of paper. Um, it's also going to be marked uh, copy paper. And then if I do uh, watercolor, markers, 
pencil crayons and I don't know what. So, you know, I got three. Anyway, so that's what I'm, I'm thinking of doing. I actually was going to test it all on this one. That's why I printed just the one off. Again, more black and white of these beautiful uh, black and white papers. Okay, now we're going to get to the next thing I tried. This is tracing paper. It's a little more crinkled than my vellum. My vellum, my vellum. Here, I'll show you this one. This one I accidentally, I accidentally printed it off in color. And of course the only color that's coming out is blue. Um, but this, see how nice and smooth that is. That's my vellum. Whereas the tracing paper, I mean, even when I take it out of the package, it's kind of got texture. And I thought I would give one of these a try and, and color this and see maybe again, color one, like try and color maybe the rose a little bit, maybe adding a little color, maybe adding a little color in the background. Um, you know, inks, paints, blah, 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 whatever. So that's what I was doing today. Uh, as you can see, tons and tons of printouts. Um, here's another one on uh, tracing paper. I thought it was pretty. And you know, because it's tracing paper and vellum, let me see if I can, this is my glue book, so I just have it beside me. Now, I don't know if you can see that well. Let me, let me just, I'll maybe put it up here so you can see a little bit better. Maybe this one, doesn't matter. Okay, let me, oops, zoom in, not zoom out. Let me come up here. So you see how if if I cut it out, how the print, or if I paste it on, paste it. That's old fashioned, isn't it? If I stick it on with glue, if I glue it on, um, I could see through it with the with the uh, tracing paper. I'll be able to see through it. Let me try the vellum. You see the vellum. So the vellum is actually better than the tracing paper. Well, this is blue, mind you. Okay. Um, do I have a tracing paper that's um, black and white? Here we go. Yeah. So as you can see through these, these would be really cool to put them on a page and, you know, could cut it out and glue it on a page in the journal. Anyway, you're getting the idea. <laughs> and sorry if I keep saying anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, regular paper again. Tried to, uh, I think I tried to print on color, and then I thought, oh well, if it's blue, that'll be okay. I can use that. And then I decided to do the whole set bigger. And I mean smaller, and then this is heavy cardstock, so I can cut these out and color them, distress them, add them to whatever. Again, some more here. Now we're getting to the really interesting part. Yeah, so again, some vellum. Now, this I think I've shown you this before that I have like about 12 packages of these big ones. I think they are, I think they are, I was having a lot of fun. Frustrating, but fun. Oh, let me zoom out. Sorry. I did it again. Are we zoomed out? Well, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I Sometimes I forget to zoom in and zoom out. This is handmade paper, 11 by 15, and there's two sheets. So they're folded in half. Um, so when you open it up, it's 15 inches wide. So this is um, handmade paper. And I have, like I say, I must have about, oh, it's getting low, lower. I must have still about 10 of them. So yeah, so this is the rough side, uh, which I was going to try and um, print on but I was a little afraid about my computer, about my printer, 
So I printed it on the flat side. So one side has texture with all of the little branches, leaves and stuff in it. And this side is flat. So I tried that and um, I was pleased with it. So I thought I'm gonna try it again. Here's some more vellum. This time I tried it on the bumpy side. So that's the flat, smooth side, and that's the bumpy side. And I thought, that is so cool. Now, what I should have done, I did this full page because I was afraid um, it might get stuck in my printer. So now that I know my printer will take it, um, I thought I would take this kind of marriage certificate. Um, again, I don't remember. One of the girls, it's one of the freebies from from their, their packages. Um, I thought maybe I could take it and make two or do four smaller ones on this paper. And that would be really cool on my, in, in a journal. So that was another thing. Um, yeah, so this is another clear one, uh, birds. And again, I want to see if I can, uh, I'll test one and see if I can color these. Um, I know, oh, sorry. Let me just grab one from the back here, it's kind of easier. See, this is not colored, it just looked colored because I had the green, green paper. So I kind of brought in a couple of pages to um, print on. So here's one of the ones that I printed all on green. And I thought if I ever wanted something green and maybe I could color on these, I don't know. I have no idea. Testing, I am going to just keep going with my experimenting. Um, and I'll do a video on it and show you um, my results. I'm just, I'll probably end up doing that today because I just feel like it. So here's another one that uh, I just printed uh, full page. Um, and then I tried these ones. I can't remember who, who was doing this. I think it was, I think it was happiness and crafting. I'm pretty sure. Um, I thought this was really cool. And if I wanted to just cut out portions of it, and like I say, because it's, um, because talk Donna, you can talk because it's, it's see-through. Um, it could go on any page and really look cool. So if you have, that's green, here's a pink page. If I had, I'll just use my my um, parchment paper here. If you had a book page darker, it would come out a little darker. Again, sorry, I have to take this page off because it's got a lot of glue on it this would go on your book pages and you could see through it. I mean, you know, when when you run out of ink and you got nothing else to do, here's another one I'm going to try painting and coloring. Another, another one, I'm putting it on the white. I'm putting it on the pink, aren't I? I should be putting it on white. Put it on the back here. Cause it just it just shows a little bit better so that is what i was doing uh, today because i was so frustrated with my my color oh i wanted to show you the difference between these two with my color not working and i'm really angry because it was like i think it's like 40 dollars for the set of black and white i think it's probably maybe 29 dollars for the ink that's expensive yeah, I mean, I know my old printer, the ink lasted a lot, or the colored ink lasted a lot longer, but that's what happens. So this one I printed on um, tracing paper, and this one I printed on vellum. So I'm just going to see if I can show you the difference. Uh, these are not the same, or are they? Yes, they are. But look at the difference in the darkness. Um, the, gosh, I hope you can see that okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. So on the vellum, it comes out lighter. And on my tracing paper, it comes out darker. 
So I found that rather interesting. And maybe because this is a matte, I don't know. Because this is matte too, but maybe because it's clearer, I don't know. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. These, and this is the ones that were tracing paper. I wanted to see it in blue. So you never know when I might want blue. Or if I put it on the pink, the blue and pink. I don't, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm going to have it in my stock. And here's some more. See the difference? I tried to print it. It's supposed to be pretty colorful, and it ended up being, but you know what? You can still use it. Now, these ones were very colorful, and these are seeds. These are, yeah, again, by Happiness and Crafting. Um, very colorful. I thought these were really, really cool. And, yeah, this was regular paper. Regular paper on that. Some more that I printed off. See the blue? Yeah, kind of disappointed. So we can go on and on and on. I'll bring it. Uh, these ones, those are papers. So these, again, this is tracing paper. You know, depending on the color of the background, how it's going to look. I mean, you know, yeah. You getting tired of looking at it yet? <laughs> I just forgotten what I printed off, but I just thought these were kind of cool. You know. So that's what I was doing today. Testing out the three, actually four, I guess we could say, four different kinds of uh, papers in my machine. This, this is the bumpy side. This is the smooth side of the same paper. Smooth side, bumpy side. And then we've got vellum and tracing paper. And, and of course, somewhere in here, I showed you where I used, and I can't find it now because it's, high. there we are. Here it is. And vellum. Not vellum, acetate. Get it together, Donna, acetate. So I've got acetate, vellum, tracing paper, um, handmade paper with the bumpy side, and the handmade paper with the smooth side. So that's what I was doing today, and I thought I would share it with you just because I was having fun, and now I've got piles of digitals. Well, not all of this. Some of it was in my folder. Uh, yeah, so I'll let you know. Maybe I'll do a video on testing out. Um, I won't test out this one because this, this handmade paper or whatever it's called uh, would just soak up the color, unless I use pencil, but it would, if it was, uh, inks or markers or whatever, that would, that would soak it up and spread it. It, it would soak it up. Yeah. Yeah. But I can test it on, um, the vellum and on the tracing paper and see how that turns out as well as regular, uh, copy paper, wherever I have that's not regular copy paper, this is. Or regular copy paper if I want to color it and see how that, so I've got kind of, I guess, three platforms or backgrounds that I can test to see coloring. I don't think acetate, uh, but you never know. I'm, I, may, I may even test acetate. So we'll have four tests and see how it turns out. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. That is what I have been up to today. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna go and have some supper. It's afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. I've been at this for a while, but uh, watching videos, um, and because the printer and my iMac is in my bedroom, of course, I had to bring things in the bedroom and then bring it back out. So now I gotta make sure I put these away. What I have to do, because now, not counting this, 
because I have so many now, I'm going to have to have a separate folder for these. And I'll have to look through my through my stash to see where I can uh, put these. I may, oh, I got these new ones, right? And they're blue that I haven't even used yet. And I can separate them from regular paper, acetate, uh, tracing paper, um, acetate, tracing paper, vellum, regular copy paper, and also just the black and whites, put the black and whites. Maybe the first one will be color and the last page will be black and white. Perfect, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll have one blue folder because my other ones are green. One blue folder only for digitals. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, <laughs> I get excited over silly things, don't I? Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.